This is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. I'm Greg, and I have never been a professional bartender. I've never even had a job in a bar. I don't worry too much about precision in technique, because at the end of the day, if the drink you like is in the glass, you did it right. Let's get going. This is the Game of Thrones edition of How to Drink. Uh, one of my favorite shows on the TV right now is Game of Thrones. I don't know if I like it quite as much as New Heart, but um, boy is it a doozy. I like it a lot. I think some of the most interesting characters in the books and the show are the warlocks of Karth, okay? We don't know what they're up to. We don't know if they're working for the others. We know that they drink Shade of the Evening, which is made from the leaves of the trees that grow around the House of the Undying, and it stains their lips blue, and maybe it gives them magical powers. I don't know. I thought that was a pretty cool idea for a cocktail. So we're going to try to make that up right now. It's a how-to-drink original, kind of advanced cocktail. We're going to use Batavia Rack. We're going to use Marin Kina. We're going to use gum syrup. We're going to use some Demerara syrup. We're going to do an absinthe rinse and sage. We're going to use sage, too. In the books, Shade of the Evening is described as tasting a, a, like a lot of things, like all things and no things at the same time. Rotting flesh and baking apples and just every flavor. Uh, we're going to try to do that, but with as minimum rotting flesh flavor as we could possibly get away with. I don't have those trees that grow around the House of the Undying because they don't exist. I do have this, which is butterfly pea blossoms. Uh, they're dried. These are used in, I think, Thailand primarily to color various drinks. I first found out about these because I was interested in the history of blue curacao. I was like, what is that? Is that just something that we came up with in the 60s? We started putting seltzer blue into curacao? No, uh, actually blue curacao goes back to like the 16 or 1700s. They had these flowers and said, hey, everything's better with blue in it. And you can, uh, you can do that. You can take curacao or other spirits and steep these in there for a couple days and you will end up with something very nice and electric and blue. Did I mention liquid nitrogen? Did I not mention liquid nitrogen? We're gonna also need some liquid nitrogen. And we're gonna do a technique that Dave Arnold came up with called nitro muddling. And we're gonna nitro muddle some of these butterfly pea blossoms and some fresh sage leaves together. Without further ado, let's make, <laughs> let's make shade of the evening. I'm gonna throw one, two, you know, five sage leaves into my short tin. By nitro muddling this, what's gonna happen is one, these are gonna get brittle and pulverized into dust. And two, because it'll be in a completely oxygen devoid environment, because it'll be coated in liquid nitrogen, it can't oxidize. Our herbs won't brown, the flavors won't dull. It will be the sharpest, most present sage flavor uh, we should be able to ever extract from these sage leaves. We're also going to throw in a good number of these sea blossom flowers. And I'm not gonna lie, that's mostly for effect. That's primarily to get a color that we're looking for out of this drink. Now I'm gonna throw some liquid nitrogen in there. And this is gonna make me look uh, like a mad scientist. Okay, so a little liquid nitrogen here. Goes right into, <laughs> a little liquid nitrogen straight into your mixing tin. Not something I thought I was ever gonna say before. It's very easy to just muddle this. All of the cells are uh, just being pulverized and broken open and cryogenically shattered right now. And I think that's about good. Uh, that, that looks very serious. I want to put in two ounces of Batavia Iraq. Oh yeah, that happens. I want to put in a half an ounce of Marine Kina. I'm going to put in a half an ounce of Demerara syrup, which is just um, rich, simple syrup made with Demerara sugar. I am going to put in a half an ounce of gum syrup. And we're doing that because we want this to be thick. In the books, it's described as being um, a really thick, viscous drink, almost like old blood or something. While that's happening, I'm gonna pour a little absinthe into my glass. And I'm gonna throw another splash of liquid nitrogen in there, mostly because I have it and it's gonna look really cool. Um, and it does. At this point, we're ready to shake. We're ready to pour this now. Double strain this drink. Nitro muddling leaves really fine pulverized bits of herbs, and I honestly wish I had a, a finer strainer than this, but I don't. I'm gonna garnish that with a single sage leaf, and I'm gonna 
clap it between my hands to let it kind of express some of its oils. I'm just gonna float it right in the middle there. That's a drink I'm gonna call Shade of the Evening, as drunk by the Warlocks of Karth on Game of Thrones. Let's see how it came out. Oh my God, that's really good. This is a really cool evolution. You get this like piney note right up front, which is a little bit of the, um, the Kina and the Batavia Rack. It's sweet, it's a very sweet drink. I don't know that I would ever want to drink sweeter than this, but this is not too sweet. It's just on the edge. I would say it's accurate to the description of how sweet it is in the book. The sweetness is tempered by the bitterness that you get from Kina and from the Batavia Rack, which is pretty strong stuff and has a lot of funk to it. And then the, the sage, actually, you really taste the sage. I don't know if it's just from nitro muddling it or what, but like you get flavors out of it that are just so much more present. It comes in after, it's like you sip, you taste, you taste, and then you get hit with sage. I think it's a really neat drink. It evolves, it tastes like a lot of different things at once. It looks about the right color, it's highly suspicious, and it's good. It's a really cool drink. Ooh, that's a neat drink. I like any drink where you're drinking it, drinking it, and you sip it, and you taste it, and then it's like, pops up into your nose, and it gives you a whole different like chapter in the drink. It has like a, it opens up a different flavor, and this drink does that. There it is, Shade of the Evening, inspired by Game of Thrones, as drank by the Warlocks of Karth. Very serious dudes. Good show, good books. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do, but I think it's about to start, so I don't have time to drink that at the moment. I'm gonna save that for later. So I'll just put it on ice, and um, perfect. That'll keep nicely, and we'll just put that under glass there. Beautiful. This is how to drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. I hope you like the show, and if you do, I hope you subscribe. Uh, I try to respond to all of your comments. Sometimes I'm better about that than others. If uh, I didn't get right back to you, I'm very sorry. This week we did something from Game of Thrones. We're gonna do a little bit more of that, I think. I'll see you next week with another cocktail. 